Hi, and welcome back to L10. I'm Fiona Pando. As we resume our virtual winter term, we have lots of stories lined up for you. But first, some headlines. Fourth former Lauren Zhang has been selected as the youngest speaker to present research at the International Tech Connect World Innovation Conference. She will share her work, Design of Gold Nanorod-Based Nanosensors for Circulating Tumor DNA Screening in the Nanomedicine Sector. In addition, fifth former Mike Zhang was named one of the top 300 scientists by the Society for Science during their Regeneron Science Talent Search 2021. His project focused on developing an easy and cost-efficient way to detect opiates in the water. Congratulations to both of the Zhangs. This year, fifth formers Ijamika Achebe and Ava Conyers founded a Lawrenceville discussion series to promote conversations around topics of diversity, equity, and inclusion called Let's Talk About It. Our senior news producer, Caroline Bednar, speaks to the co-founders about their purpose and goals for the future. LTA is like a year-long discussion series broken up into a trimester format um, and so we basically have like a theme for each term and we have discussions or like talks um, that pertain to each theme within the term so we just finished our race theme and we had conversations on like white privilege police brutality uh, colorism and also the model minority myth i do think a lot of students haven't been exposed to space is about diversity, equity, inclusion, and it's definitely a good starting point. You know, talking about our identities gives us a way to like break out of that binary I mode and just like figure out who we are in a different format. Sometimes it can be really easy to dismiss identity and how it plays a factor in our world, but um, it's affecting every little bit of <laughs> what's happening in the world as we see, especially now. And um, if we don't learn about one our ourselves and how we can appreciate our differences and also how we can appreciate others, then how can we better, how can we effectively learn about like anything, right? Especially this term, because we don't know enough, we're teaming up with students who have identified as like queer or people who are like specifically interested in gender and sexuality to help us out with the topics this term to make sure that we're like representing people well. It's important to remember when you enter a DEI space that it's okay not to know everything. Like like I just said, I'm excited for this, this, ne this next term because I personally do not um, know a lot about gender and sexuality. And so I feel like students are scared to come sometimes because of that, but come out, learn, it's okay. The Gender Sexuality Alliance is a student-led club on campus that unites LGBTQ plus students and allies on topics related to social justice. Our features team speaks to GSA President Chelsea Wang about her role in the school community and her plans for the club. My name is Chelsea and I'm the president of the GSA. The GSA is an acronym for the Gender and Sexuality Alliance. Anyone is welcome, even though there is the general assumption that everyone who joins the GSA is a member of the LGBT community, but that's not true. We have a lot of great allies in the GSA, and it's just open to anyone who's willing to be an ally. So traditionally, we do a lot of events within the club. For example, we sell merch, as you may have seen the little hoodies with the squid on the side. Um, we have invite a friends, uh, we, as in these are dinners where club members get to invite a friend who's not a part of the club and invite them to learn more about the GSA. We organize Pride Week. We organize the Day of Silence. Uh, so the GSA has been a little different in the past years. It definitely was a lot more casual and a lot more like a friend group of people that just come together every week and just talk about their lives. And while I love that sense of community, I think it's also important that we fulfill our purpose as a, as a club which is to discuss these important issues and raise awareness about things that we care about. And I have tried to really implement that this year and really focus the meetings on topics that I thought were worthwhile to discuss while still retaining that sense of community. In the future, I hope to see the GSA become even bigger of a presence at Lawrenceville. I hope that people can see it as a club that's making actual important changes to the campus culture rather than just a group of friends. And I have high hopes for next year and I have high hopes for next year's leadership. 
Now to more headlines. Congratulations to the 16 Laurentians selected from the third and fourth forms for this year's Wells Awards. Each recipient will receive funds to conduct their student research projects, such as creating a smart pillbox that will keep track of medications via voice assistance. We look forward to seeing what all of you produce. Each term, some students leave Lawrenceville's campus to pursue experiential learning opportunities. The High Mountain Institute, located in Leadville, Colorado, educates high school students through interaction with the natural world. Our specialty producer, Federica Sahabian, brings you an inside look with two students who completed a term there this past fall. HMI is a semester school in Colorado, in Leadville, which is the highest town in America, I believe. Um, it's in the mountains and it's a lot of fun. We do a lot of outdoors things and um, the academic curriculum is really interesting and very different from anything I've done before. Learning at HMI is different in a way where we try to not use our technology as much but we still use it for essays and online websites and documents like that but a lot of it's just hands-on like in the classroom talking with your teachers or science like we go different places but we try to use technology as minimum as possible. Like adding on to Maya a lot of our curriculum was land-based so in that sense, we learned a lot about like the environment and the nature around us. Um, so whether we were on expedition in the mountains or in the desert, we'd learn about um, everything surrounding us. And on top of that, like in history, we would learn about the indigenous people who lived on the land before us. So that was super interesting. What I loved so much is taking classes on trail, which I know sounds weird, but it was really cool to like learn about the environment when you're in the environment, which I thought was really amazing. So having classes on trail was probably the coolest thing in the entire world. I definitely agree. My favorite memories were made um, when we were on expedition. So we would be outside backpacking and I think I just loved how open everyone is with each other and everybody was very vulnerable and um, it just felt really good. And Maya and I had a really good bonding moment <laughs> when we were on expedition. We climbed like a really huge rock and just like looked out at the view of like the desert in Utah and it was really amazing. Um, if I were speaking to someone who wanted to go to HMI, I would say just do it. I have no experience in the outdoors at all. Um, and I had like, a tent group um, which was also like my cooking group for my first expedition and it was me with like two of the, the most incompetent students on campus and it was a mess every single day we couldn't cook food but it was so much fun yeah i would say even though i did have experience so many people that came to hmi didn't have experience at all but that just kind of made it more fun in a way because no one knew what they were doing and even like me who's gone on backpacking trips before I this was a whole new environment so everyone's just kind of like confused especially on the first expat and it's so much fun just to like figure it out by yourselves and like you find your own way to cook even if you don't know how to cook and you just find out what to do with each other and that's just what builds the bond so much more. Before we go we have a short message for our viewers. Recent political events may have caused strong emotions within our country it is important that we continue to have informed discussions with each other and remind ourselves of respectful and thoughtful conversation. Later this week, there will be an opportunity for students to gain clarity on recent events and engage in conversation with members of the community. As we say goodbye to 2020, let us hope for a better future this 2021. That's all for this week's show. As always, we welcome your suggestions, and if you have a story to tell, please, let us know by email or DM us on one of our social media platforms. From all of us here at L10, thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.